Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. I have loaded up here a game called Pac-Man, P-A-C-K. I have not played this. I'm assuming it is some kind of Pac-Man clone. I guess we'll see. Page 6, which I think was a magazine. Oh, pardon me. Um, let me just have a quick look at my my recording settings. Okay, looks like I'm all right. Uh, I believe page six was a magazine. The game was written by Robert Stewart, 1991. Oh, oh, interesting. You, oh, you can, in fact, hold. <laughs> wow, interesting. I have to put my joy pad away. There's some weird slowdown here. You can hold the whoa 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 whoa. You can hold the uh, what what was that? You can hold the uh, the joystick in a in a direction. Twenty twenty two. I'm confused. What is happening here? Seems to be a little bit like a puzzle Pac-Man game. Oh, what does that say? Excel exclamation mark. All right, I, oh, geez, what the? This reminds me of, uh, of uh, Hover Bubber by Jeff Minter in a way. Interesting. So now that one is trapped there. This guy will now come out, come after me. And I can trap him in there. Okay, now I can clear this area. Yeah, it's actually quite a bit like Hover Bubber if you look at it in the right way. Um, hmm. Can I make a run for it here? Oh, that didn't quite go far enough. When they're chasing you, there's a bit of slowdown. I need to get that guy out and whoop, trapped is what I was gonna say, but why, what? What happened there? Is it because the two, oh, maybe it's because the two bad guys uh, collided. That might be. That would possibly make sense. So that adds, whoa, shit. That adds another element of challenge to the game for sure. So I could clear this area here and then maybe trap, maybe get this leftmost guy to come over here and get trapped. Yeah, get trapped. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now I can maybe set this guy loose. Do I want to set him loose? Maybe not. So if I come up here and then run like crazy, uh, now what? There we go. I think that should allow me to finish. There we go. Well, this is interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. These colors are kind of crazy janky on hard on the eyeballs. All right, so it's a it's a puzzle Pac-Man type action puzzle type thing. Let's see if I can figure out this this level. So if I run either I mean it's a symmetrical play field. This one is symmetrical. 
first one was not. Is it symmetrical? Yeah, it is. So if I run over to the far left, that thing will definitely come out. Ah, run, 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 run. Run, run, Rudolph. Hmm. Oh, I'm having struggling with the uh, responsiveness of the controls is my biggest issue at the moment. I need to get this guy trapped over here again. And I've got 62 energy, so... Ah. The, yeah, the weird lack of responsiveness of the controls is the biggest issue. Ooh. Once again, wrapping my head around the the color clash here. It's probably the most tricky part. If the playfield didn't have those sort of repeating background pattern elements, it would be a lot easier to to uh, see what was going on. Uh, let's see here. That is as much as I can do. Oh no, one more. Without freeing one of those guys. Do I dare? I dare. Whoops, okay. But you have to be careful not to... Let them loose to collide with... Ah, no, 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 no! Dang it. Okay. Hmm. Tricky. It's, it's an interesting game idea, and not bad at all, actually, but it does not control very smoothly, and as a result, it is pretty tough to play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing you have an energy bar instead of an absolute... I do this, am I going to have them run into each other? Probably. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what. It's not terrible. Um, and for a magazine publication, I, I don't know. Maybe this was a disc magazine. Actually, just maybe I'll, maybe I'll look that up real quick. Page 6, Atari Magazine. 1991. Page 6 was an independent British publication aimed at users of Atari home computers published between 82 and 98. 8-bit family and later the Atari ST models. I feel like I'm, I might have heard that before actually. Uh, Page6.org. Oh, there's, there's a some amount of those things at, of the magazines I guess, at uh, the Internet Archive. Page6.org. What is this about Page6? Started out as a newsletter of the Birmingham User Group. There was blah, 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 blah. You can read about this on Page6.org if you wish. Why Page6? Oh, has to do with memory, Page6. <laughs> page6 represents the memory locations, the 256 bytes from 1536 to 1791 which are not used by the operating system or Atari BASIC. This means page six can be used for machine language subroutines, redefined character sets, or indeed any data users wish to store in the space. 
In other words, page six is a valuable resource for Atari computer users and a fitting title for the magazine. Alrighty, there's a what's new section, launch database publications, Atari user magazine subsite. All right. Magazine archive, oh. So, I wonder if this is complete. Let's go look for the 1991 issues. Okay. January, oh no, can't click on that. You can click on a PDF. Let's have a look here. Oh, I see, whoop, okay, we need to allow some cookies. ST file, yeah, in 91, I was certainly an ST user, although I think I was even maybe at the tail end of my Atari ST usage at that point in time, probably not entirely. I don't know if this was a disk mag. Um, not sure. All right, well, anyway, you can't see what I'm looking at, so it's not too exciting for this video. I have to surmise, but um, you can research it a bit if you wish. Not a bad game. Graphics are nice. Sound effects are minimal, but effective. And control is the biggest issue. If it was smoother, um, it would actually be quite, I would say it would be quite a good game. In any case, I'm just going to do it for my look at Pac-Man. 1991 by Robert Stewart. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.